Welcome back guys, it's the Tightwad. Today I'm working on my neighbor's Echo Brand chainsaw. It is a CS305. And anytime I ask to borrow a chainsaw from a neighbor because I don't own one, I always, number one, bring it back sharpened when I'm done and full of fuel and bar oil, but also fix anything that's messed up. And this one currently will not start because the purge pump bulb here, or some people call it the primer bulb on here, it's actually a pump, uh, is cracked. So I'm gonna show you how to replace that. I've already ordered a new bulb here and a new air filter because when I pull off this air filter, you're gonna see why. So let's get started. The first step here is easy. You're just removing the cover for the carburetor and the air filter. And I did put on some nitrile gloves just to protect my hands because this stuff's pretty nasty. Um, chainsaws are notoriously gross because of the oil and all the sawdust sticks to them. But it's just a flathead screwdriver and a screw here. You can see how disgusting this filter is. You can clean these. Uh, you can use just water. You can use water and Dawn to clean them out, but just make sure they're completely dry before you put them back on. Uh, but that is why I went ahead and ordered a replacement because that one's pretty nasty. The next thing we have to do is remove the purge pump. And to get to that, we're gonna have to go just under this white clip right here. There are two fuel lines connected to this. One's going into the carburetor, one's going into the fuel tank. So I'm gonna get you a little bit lower so you can see what I'm doing here. All right, I'm gonna lift the chainsaw up. I'm gonna tilt the chainsaw to the side a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing. And there are two clips, one on each side of this purge pump right here. And the best way to get it out is to use your needle nose pliers. So I need to get my needle nose pliers in there on each of those clips and squeeze them together at the same time and push up, which is not easy. All right, so I was able to get one side at a time and you can see it's raised up a little bit here. So now I should just be able to pull up on the pump or primer bulb. And it should come right out. I'm not worried about damaging it at this point. If it's a little hard to pull, that's because of these hoses that are connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this hose from the primer, I mean, from the carburetor. And then this other hose from the fuel tank here. And I did not buy new hoses, so I gotta be careful not to damage these. So I was able to disconnect the second fuel line from the fuel port right here. I'm going to, before removing this one, get my new primer bulb out and make sure that I get them in the right spot. So the short nozzle is for the short hose that goes to the carburetor. The long nozzle is for the long hose that goes to the fuel tank. And I'm going to be using my needle nose pliers to carefully pull this fuel hose off and put it directly on the new one. It should slide up all the way to the top. And then the other fuel line is still in here, so I need to get it off. And the other fuel line is off and it's going to go on the long port on the pump. So it's going to look something like this. You need to go ahead and orient the hoses in the direction that you need them. I know the clips go left and right side this way. So the fuel line that goes to the carburetor needs to go this way and then the other one goes straight down. So now I can put the new purge pump down in here. Directing, directing the lines in their correct orientation as they go in. And you can use your needle nose pliers to maneuver them as needed. Then I can just snap this into place. All right, with that snapped into place, I can now connect my two fuel lines. And if you don't have needle nose pliers, this is a lot more difficult job, but it's super easy if you do have them. 
And we're gonna hope that this fixed the issue where the saw wouldn't crank. But anytime you're working on small engines, there are only a few things that are typically wrong with them. They need fuel, they need air, and they need fire. So this is going to fix the fuel issue. Um, there's a chance that I need to add fresh fuel to it, but we'll find that out soon enough. Uh, they also need fire, which is from provided via the spark plug, which is back here, that I'll replace if needed. And then they need air, which comes through, of course, here to the carburetor. So there's only one way this can go on. The vent holes go to the top. There is a little lip that goes in on it. So I'm gonna push this in. This cover has a lot of nastiness on it. I'm gonna knock off what I can here and then use a blue towel. So just make sure there's no debris on the inside of this. The last thing you wanna do is mess up your brand new air filter. And you're not gonna feel it snap into place because as you tighten down the screw, it's gonna pull itself in. Get that nice and snug. You don't have to overly tighten it. And now we're gonna take it outside and see if this baby will crank. This particular model has a choke here I'm gonna pull out. Has an on-off switch here. I need to make sure it's in the run position. Hit your purge pump, pump bulb. I'm going to lock the trigger. There we go. And now I'm gonna give it a pull. Now I'll turn off the choke. So this is a super easy fix. All it ended up being was that purge pump bulb and we are back in business. I'm gonna go cut down a tree in the neighbor's yard. I hope this video helped you get your chainsaw back up and running. If it did, give this video a thumbs up. Leave any questions you have in the comment section below and I'll be sure to reply as soon as I can. Make sure you click that subscribe button. I post lots of DIY style videos with step-by-step -step instructions. Click any of the videos shown on the screen right now and they'll open right up on your device. And I hope you guys have a great day.